On behalf of the Grace and Mercy Foundation and our founders, Bill and Becky Huang, welcome. If you look at the Bible, we see many uh, instances of scripture being read. It is in public and tends to be lengthy passages of scripture. My task is to give, as it were, program notes to the passages of scripture that we're going to hear. The first and the last ones are two Psalms, Psalms 2 and 22, and we're going to use them as an opening prayer for the evening and then as a closing prayer for the evening. Let's pray this psalm as we hear it read. Psalm 2 Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Blessed are all those who put their trust in Him. The theme of that poem is, Behold your God. But in the middle of the poem, here in 42, God says, Behold my servant. When we are looking for who God is and what he's going to do, God himself says, Watch, here is my servant. That is then interpreted by Isaiah in terms of the coming king, the servant, who will bear in his own body the reproach of the nations in order that the world might be healed. So let's listen to the Old Testament. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. Your throne shall be established forever. These passages draw on those Old Testament passages in order to say it has been fulfilled, it is being fulfilled, it will be fulfilled, and you get to be part of it. But by the grace of God, I am what I am and his grace toward me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. We are caught up in the life and the love and the victory of the Lord. So will you please stand, if you're able, and we will hear the psalm and we will pray it together. And this will function as our closing prayer tonight. Psalm 22 to the chief musician, set to the deer of the dawn, the psalm of David. Mm -hmm. 